Today, we're going to be doing training. I mean, real training to improve our combat skills, to be better at the game. And if you think about any of the pro athletes or like actors or whoever, all of them practice. And usually gamers don't. Usually gamers hop into the game, start the game and then hope for the best. With the exception of esports players and, and those who are in the competitive scene, obviously they do practicing. So all we're going to need is a retro helmet just for fun. Um, no armor, no headset, just a chest rig. Let's pick some decent one. No backpack, you don't need that. Then select any of your fancy guns. You can go with an FAL, M4 or whatever. I'm gonna quickly put one together. So here is my ATK FAL. You will want to have one spare mag and for bullets, I believe like T3 is fine. For grenades, you will want to have at least, let's say, eight of them and we have all we need to step into the shooting range into the training ground so let's go ahead we are going to practice five different things peaking aim accuracy rushing nading and the fifth one i call it like the chaos and if you think that this is going to be super boring and you're just going to waste your time then let me remind you that mastering your controls is key to success so if you never mistap and if your aim is like fully accurate, you're going to be super successful in the game, but we don't have those skills. We need to practice. So folks, first exercise. I want you to stand here, but not too close because you're going to see that resupply icon. And the goal is to pick to the right, do a headshot on that dummy, and then pick to the left and do a headshot on this dummy. And repeat that like five or 10 times in a row and try not to miss them. All right, three, two, one, let's do it. And I want you to try to be fast and don't cheat. If you are cheating, you are basically cheating on yourself. Nobody's going to see what you're doing, except, you know, in my case, because I'm going to publish this. If you want to make your training harder, then you can do the following. Pick to the right and hit the one that is back there, then to the left and then to the right and not the back one, the front one. And then keep changing that back one, front one, back one the front one like this as you could see i didn't hit all of them maybe i could do somewhat better but now i'm also focusing on the recording but do this for like two or three minutes straight and definitely your peak aim is going to improve by peak aim i mean you peak and you instantly want to search for a target and start shooting the second exercise is going to be aim accuracy and actually it can also be used to track targets or somewhat because these are not moving but anyways so just stand here at the yellow line and what you want to do is to zoom in, no need to peek, and try to quickly hit their heads as, as, as quick as you can, okay? All right, let me show you. Three, two, one. You can change the order to your liking. So again, do this for two or three minutes ideally per day so if you can start your session with 15 minutes training then over time you're going to definitely improve and this is going to help you to like quickly find your target or switching target and basically it's going to improve your aim the next one is going to be fun all i want you to do is to start running jump look to the right start zooming and spray them down with one magazine i have a 50 round mag if you're doing it with the 30 round mag, even better, but all of the three dummies should be dead at least one time. For this exercise, the FAL may not be the best choice because what I didn't say is that I don't want you to release the fire button, okay? Do the spray in, in, in one go. Don't release the button. So let me give it a try. We run, we jump, we zoom, and then we aim and kind of that's it. I think with the FAL it's like hard because of the recoil, as I said. But with an M4 or MP5 or whatever, it may be better. Yeah, I maybe should adjust my sensitivity. This was actually good proof of concept why with an FAL it's not ideal to spray because if I do it like this, then, you know, I have better chances to knock them. But I, I want you to spray. I want you to press the fire button and don't release it because it's going to help you to aim while you are firing. And actually on that note, you can check your sensitivity settings because if you scroll down, there's something like, uh, what is it? Firing sensitivity. And uh, if you feel it's not good enough, then you can, you can change that. If you have it this up like at 150 or such, 
like this, then it's going to be easier to control the vertical recoil, but horizontal recoil is going to be really bad. And I know this struggle, so if you have set that to normal, then your finger is just not going to have enough space on your phone and, and maybe it's going to like slip off your phone. This is why people use gyroscope, but I, I personally don't like it. All right, guys, we're getting there. The next one is going to be nading. And most of the people think that they can nade, but they actually can. So by nading, I mean something like peaking and then starting the nade, releasing the pin, waiting for the right moment and then throw the grenade and then it explodes, something like this. And you need to be able to pull that off during the battle without doing something like this because you are kind of revealing your whole body. It's not ideal. Also, it's not ideal if you throw the grenade without um, releasing the pin because by the time your grenade explodes, the enemies are going to be far away. So let's practice that for a while. Let's do it on the right hand side and also on the left hand side. So you stand somewhere here, you select the nade, you activate it, you release the pin, you then peek and then wait and then you throw. Bang. Something like this. And the better you are with the timing of the grenade, the more success you're going to have. And actually in real combat, it's even different because you're going to activate the nade and then release the pin and wait and don't peek before it explodes like this. You need to be really fast with the peeking because if you're peeking for too long, you're going to be dead. So with this grenade, it's easier because you don't need to use the pin. And basically you peek, you throw and you peek back. So the last exercise, I called it the chaos because we're going to do a sequence. Let's assume we dropped our bags. We are going to run to the wall, just quickly peek. And then after peeking, throwing one of our nades. And then after we threw our nade, then we're going to start to rush them and then spray them. All right, here we go. So we're going to peek. We see the target. We're going to switch to nade. We're going to unpin that and we're going to throw it. I think by now I would be already dead. And then after we have that, we're gonna hide and then rush from the other side and spray those guys back there. There you go. The last one is definitely the closest to the real combat scenario. But if you practice them one by one, then you can kind of form that sequence. During the combat, there's actually more happening. You need to focus on the footsteps. You need to be aware of where you are on the map. You need to check your health and all kind of stuff. So everything I showed you, it should be kind of automated. You need to do these things without having to think. And the more you practice them, the better you're gonna be at it. So go for it, guys do it let me know in the comment section if you're ever doing practice like trying a new gun or such or ammunition and also let me know if you feel that this is just a waste of time and it has nothing to do with the actual game everything is welcome but please promise me something try it at least once to kind of evaluate your own skills you don't need to share it with anybody and if you are up to it then indicate it with a like this was actually a shady request so this is not how i should be getting likes but Anyways, if you liked the video, then give it a like. If you haven't, if you still haven't, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Happy gaming. Happy training. And see you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.